Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Itoro, aka I See You Glam, and we are back back with another video for my ladies okay i've been really feeling this like how to be feminine femininity tip like i have been kind of like indulging in so many of these videos on youtube because as i've mentioned before if you haven't seen my femininity video i've mentioned that i feel like this is a topic of conversation that we have been lacking to have for so long there are so many things that are assumed that all women know and all women do that really a lot of women are just learning and just being put on game so i'm gonna do my part and shed a little bit of light but before we get a little bit further make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and join the fam make sure you thumbs up the video if you love it thumbs it down if you don't and tell your mother your father your baby sister your baby cousin tell everybody pull up because you're finna get it cracking let's roll So today's video is going to be all about the things that I keep in my purse and what I feel like every lady should keep in her purse as well. Purse, handbag, whatever you carry, you go ahead, you do so. I go between two extremes. I'm either, I wanna carry my go yard or my never full and be a big bag lady, or I wanna carry a super chic, super sleek mini city bag and be about my way, be on my business. I don't want nobody to talk to me. Um, but no matter what bag I use, I tend to keep pretty much the same kind of things in each purse. Um, and instead of doing like a what's in my bag because my bag can get really, really full of like nonsense, I figured I would just do my top, I think it's about 10 to 15 things that I keep in my handbag. So let's see what the first thing is. First things first, for the ladies who want to be on fleek always. You gotta have a comb, okay? And I'm talking about a little itty bitty comb that like you can sneak to the restroom and just, you know, brush down your little, whatever you need to fix, like a little itty bitty comb. I'm not talking about a huge paddle brush that you whip out in the middle of the restaurant or in the middle of the club and start brushing through your hair. Like, no, that's a no-no, first of all. So all my ladies who do that, please let us stop, okay? If you wanna fix or adjust your hair, wanna fix or adjust your makeup, really, the way I've been taught and what I try to follow is excuse yourself to the restroom, excuse yourself to the powder room, touch it up, brush it out, keep it going. But I always keep like a little rat tail comb. Like I'll either keep something like this size or I have like an even minier rat tail kind of comb that I keep in my bags as well. Along the lines with that and hair care, I do always tend to carry like a little bottle of like a hair oil. So this is a, a mixture of my Kenra, Super Silk, I think, hair oil and some argan oil. I keep this in my bag because, I don't know, I just like that look of like super sleek, super polished hair. So I'll always carry that in my bag in case I, for some reason, end up in a situation where my hair needs a little bit more sleeking out and a little bit more moisture. I'll have that in my bag. I can just squeeze a little bit of my hands, rub it together, and just silk out that bad boy. So I do always tend to carry a hair oil in a little mini like travel size bottle in my handbag. Next up, of course, y'all already know, of course your girl carries some lip gloss in her bag. And this is actually from my personal cosmetics line, I See Glam Cosmetics. I carry like six of these in my bag. Why? I don't know. I seem to think that like one is not enough. I'll carry one of every shade, two of every shade, three of every shade. But the point is I always carry lip gloss in my bag. No matter what color I have on my lips, like even if I was going out today and I had this dark lip color on, which is soon to be coming to IC Fam Cosmetics, so stay on the lookout. But even with this dark color on my lips, I always carry a lip gloss in my bag that I know I can just throw on and go if I like need to switch up lip colors or I don't have time to fix it up and touch it up, I'll carry, especially Modern Mava is my go to. Modern Mava by IC Glam Cosmetics is always reachable in my bag because sometimes you'll start the day with a certain color and the color will wear off and you just don't have the time or patience to redo the color. You want to switch up your look, switch up your vibe. I always carry a lip gloss in my bag. Along with the lip gloss, of course, is my brown lip liner. Now, I carry any lip liner. I have a multitude of dark brown lip liners. The point is, you always want to have a lip liner in your bag because you always want to touch up, be able to touch up your lip liner. I'm someone who rarely ever wears a lip color without a lip liner. Even when I'm wearing just clear, plain gloss or modern mava, I love the look and the vibe of a uh, 
brown lip liner with my lips. So I'll always carry a lip liner in my bag. People always ask me what lip liner do I use because I always talk about using a brown lip liner but I rarely ever specify what I'm using and that is because I see Glam Cosmetics will be launching our own range of lip liners. Dark brown to light browns really. Um, so which is why I don't want to get y'all hooked on anything else until we release ours because they're going to be bomb.com but I swear by a really lovely great brown lip liner and I always keep one in my bag at all times. Next up of course I have my makeup compact and excuse the dirtiness on this sponge because I just used it but my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. I always carry these two in my bag. I carry the sponge in that like hardcover case. I couldn't find mine for some reason but I do carry it in that hardcover case before putting it in my bag to keep it like away from germs and to keep it from like dirtying up everything else in my bag. And I carry my compact because I can open it up and blot with my powder but I also have a mirror in the compact which I'm not going to show you because this one is shattered. But I have a two-in-one so you can take your sponge, dab, 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 dab all over your face and go about your business. Now the reason why I carry a sponge and not a brush anymore is because I feel like this sponge is a two, has this like two-way effect, right? So you can either use the sponge without any products on it just as an oil absorber. It's really great at just absorbing the oil that forms on your face without having to deposit any more product on top of your face making you look too cakey. So sometimes if I wanna touch up, I'll either just use a sponge on its own or as I mentioned, I would take the sponge, dab it in my products, my powder, and just dab it all over my face and keep it keep and keep it going. Next on the list, a must have if you don't carry this in your bag you're ashy and you're dry and you need to get your life together I always carry hand cream in all of my bags let's see if you're gonna focus it's too much white too much white anyways you guys get the point I always carry a hand cream in my bag now this is the Dove Beauty Cream I posted this on my Instagram stories and I got a lot of y'all saying like uh, uh uh that lotion is not it but listen let me explain I use this lotion only for my hands and I think it is a lovely hand cream it's not too heavy and thick where when you rub it on your hands you start to feel like you have this layer of like wax on your hands I hate that feeling on my hands when I apply lotion like it's light enough that when you put it on your hands you kind of feel like it quickly absorbs but the point is you must have lotion in your bags at all times ladies and hands in hand with the lotion I always recommend that my ladies carry a cuticle oil especially in the winter and fall months it is crucial and when I say crucial I mean crucial that we keep our cuticles moisturized okay if you're one who frequents a nail salon or gets your nails done frequently you know the importance of moisturized on point well groomed cuticles I cannot stress that enough when it comes to keeping clean manicured proper looking hands okay ladies we always want to make sure our cuticles are on point so while I'm in between visits at the salon I make sure my cuticle game is on point by keeping them moisturized with this little cuticle oil next up I should have mentioned this with my lip glosses I always carry a chapstick or lip balm in my bag. Of course, I'm always wearing my ICU Glam Balm. This is my 25 milliliter hydrate your goodness, lip goodness for your lips. I always carry this because you don't never want chap lips. I moisturize and hydrate my lips before I wear any lip color, lipstick, lip gloss, anything that goes on my lips, hydration always comes first. So make sure your chapstick is always in your bag at all times. Next up, you wanna always keep some smell goods in your bag. If you haven't seen my latest video all about my current perfume favorites, make sure you go watch that. But of course, your girl always keeps some smell goods in her bag. Now, I like to invest in travel size smell goods. So these are not the little like testers that you usually get as samples. These are actually like travel size bottles um, that you can buy at like Sephora, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, wherever, and put them in your bag to go. I have the Gucci Bloom, and I always forget the name of this one. I'll have to find it and put it in the description box but right now I'm rotating between these two and um, the Burberry Her. I have a mini Burberry Her but I love throw in my bag can spritz top up smell good anywhere anytime. I also do like to keep the Victoria's Secret body spray minis in my bag as well. Those work really great as travel size smell goods. If you're in between events in between things to do you just want to spritz up smell good smell fresh I love them. I always keep them in my bag. Now, of course, I always keep my wallets in my bag. Duh. I'm going to show you guys two of my wallets because I want to explain to you the difference. I go between my card wallet and my big wallet. 
the two, the one, the one, it really depends. So honestly, I do mostly like to carry just my card wallet because it carries all the cards that I need. And it has a little slot in the middle where I can like put in like cash and stuff. So it's like really super sleek and small and little. I can just toss it in my bag and go whether I have a big bag or a small bag. When I'm carrying my small bag, I never like to carry this one. But when I carry my big bag, I do add my big wallet only because my big wallet has like all of my cards and like business cards i think it even has a tea bag yeah i i keep a tea bag in here i keep my cash in here i keep really pretty much a wider selection of things i can use to pay for things i guess i don't know but i really have been loving card wallets they make your life so so simple so if you don't have a card wallet i really do highly recommend you go out and invest in one you will not regret it and of course, you want to keep some gum, some mint, something to keep your breath fresh at all times in the blink of an eye. You want to have the freshest breath on the block. I always keep gum. I keep mint in every bag, all bags at every time. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing worse in the world than having funky, smelly breath like nobody likes that. Always. And then, super, super important, especially now the climate of the world and everything that's going on, so, so important that you keep hand sanitizer and like sanitizing wipes in your bag. I have always been this type of person, like before everything that's happening right now, I have always been the type to keep cleansers and cleaners and antibacterials in my bag. No matter where I go, if I'm gonna touch something, sit on something, be, I wipe down every surface I'm gonna come in contact with. I clean my hands before and after everything if I don't have access to hand um, washing water and hand washing soap um, I love to keep these in my bag because I just don't trust anything I don't trust anything everything might be dirty I don't care how many times they tell you they clean it you never really know so you always want to carry your own to wipe down things like when I travel these are my go-to's like when I travel my wet ones and it is so so important to keep cleansers antibacterials in your handbag okay always make the space for these and then ladies you always want to carry some back up feminine hygiene protection in your bag because you never know when it's gonna be your time well actually we do know when it's gonna be our time we try it we know when it's gonna happen but you never know when one of your girlfriends might need it you never know when you might think you had it but you didn't have it and that one place you thought you always keep it so you need it from your bag like it is just always safe practice to keep feminine hygiene products in your bag whether pads are your hygiene product of choice or tampons whatever it is keep them in your bag you will never ever 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 regret it keep a couple of my bags so that way we are always prepared for everything okay and then if you're someone like me you want to always keep this might seem like really like silly but for me it's super important because i have eyelash extensions i always like to carry my eyelash like little spoolie in my bag that way if my eyelashes start to act up or start to start dance on my eyes and look crazy i can always get them back into formation okay this always goes in my little like makeup area makeup compartment in my bag always have an eyelash spoolie and then last but not least ladies a lady must always carry a pin in her bag of course my pin is pink and girly and cute and it's got a little flamingo on it i am obsessed with cute stationary office supplies like i invest big in those kind of things because i feel like when you have cute stationery and office supplies your productivity automatically multiplies by like six maybe that's just me let me know how y'all feel but i really do feel like the cuter my working supplies are the cuter and more creative i am in general so ladies keep a pen in your bag at all times that's something my mom always taught me you want to keep a pen in your bag because you just really never know when you need to write something down and you just always i just i don't really i'm thinking about it now i don't really know the thought process behind it but you just always want to be ready to write something or to take something down like if I ask you if you have a pen, you better have a pen and you better bring it out. Why don't you have a pen? You need to have a pen. Keep a pen in your bag, ladies. And there you have it. The complete list of things that I keep in my bag as a lady and things I think that all my women out there should keep as well. Just simple everyday products that maybe to some are like, duh. But maybe for some you're like, oh my gosh, I never really thought about the importance of having those things. What I keep in my bag, what I think we need, things that we really honestly do need to survive and be the best women we can ever be.
And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support y'all been showing me. Um, really, your girl has been consistent. I told y'all I have like really fallen in love with the whole YouTube content creation process. And I just really feel like my mind is on one and I am just loving it, living it. And I'm happy y'all are loving it too. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay in power, love, and positivity. I will see you guys later. Bye.